dude Marx writes about this in Grundrisse. He writes about it in Capital. He just doesn't write a fucking bread tube definition, and that's not how Marx. Dude, works. why are you? Why are you? Why are you saying it's a bread tube definition? It's literally the definition. Because that's he gives. not how Marx. That's not how Marx gives expression to his ideas. It's just not. Well, we'll see about that. I mean. Okay, show me where Marx defines communism, uh, socialism. He just gives a sentence. He says this. Yeah, is I'll show you. Okay. Show me, please, 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 please. Okay. Um, you might he nitpick though. Because uh, he doesn't ex well. Well, first of all, words change, right? We can agree that words change. No, no, no. I want to see where you he gives a scholastic definition. Okay. Well, it depends on how you mean. Okay, okay. I'll I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking. <laughs> hey, hey, shut up. Hey, sh oh. the shh, shh, shh. I'll stop talking. Where he's critiquing their public view, of their the the way Bro. the optics of their socialism. What are you talking about? Food. He's not between, giving a definition of socialism. Uh, right yeah, he is. Between capitalist and communist society. Wah, wah, wah. Between capitalist and communist society, there yeah. lies a period of revolutionary transformation of one into the other. Corresponding to this is also political transformation, which is the revolutionary dictatorship of the proletariat. Where does that's he where say he defines that's socialism. definition of socialism? Well, socialism, revolutionary dictatorship of the proletariat. I mean, that's what where I call socialism. Where does he say that's the definition of socialism? Where's your wah, wah, Yeah, wah, wah, uh, yeah, yeah Marx also called. Hey, Marx also calls himself a social democrat. Are we social democrats now? Uh, Lenin Where also called himself a social that's democrat. That's the definition of socialism. I just Where explained to you that? that you're going to nitpick and say that. Dude, but you, I just asked you for a simple definition of socialism laid out by Marx. Nowhere is Marx saying. Give me this okay. Give me Marx's Marx. definition of socialism then. Give me it. What? Give I'm me saying it. Marx doesn't give expression to his ideas in the bread tube way. That's what are you talking? He literally just said here in a fucking sentence that this is what it is. Yeah. And sorry, I don't mean the to. The context of that sentence is. The what? But the, that sentence is in the context of him critiquing a god the, the program of a fucking party. So he's not giving a scholastic definition of a word. No, no, he says it clearly. He says between capitalist and communist okay, society, the there's a period of, of transformation of one into the other. Is he saying? Is he saying the definition of socialism is as follows? No, is we can call it socialism. Word? We can call it eggplant or aubergine. This is what I mean by socialism. Is socialism not the dictatorship of the proletariat? Is socialism no, 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 not the transformation of capitalism Marx, into communism? Marx and Engels were not anal about the word, the meaning of the word socialism and communism. Yeah, they use them interchangeably. But this is yeah. where, yeah, so we agree. So you're telling me to you sh show the exact word socialism, and then you're saying, well, they weren't anal about the word socialism and communism. Well, no, I just gave you an exact not, definition in sentence, in words, point, that's literal. Today, my, whole, my whole point is that Marx does not give expression to his ideas in the form of discrete Anglo definitions, like BreadTube does and how you do. He well, sorry, either. but he—I mean, he literally did. No, he does. No, he didn't. You're seeing on screen right now how he isn't. You're seeing on screen how, right now how he isn't doing that. Right now, it's on screen. Nowhere does he say that this is my definition of. Socialism. Oh, by the. Oh, sorry. Are you talking. Why is he saying this? Okay, why is Marx yeah. saying this in context? Why is he saying it? Is he saying it to define socialism? Well, he's saying it to define the transformation of capitalism into communism. You can call that whatever you want, but I just call that socialism. Okay. Why is he talking about that? Because he's critiquing the German Social Democratic Party. Okay, exactly. So yeah. the significance of this is not to give a definition of socialism. It's to make a point of some kind. Mm -hmm. So, But I just asked you to name me a place in which Marx gives definitions like how you're asking for. Uh, you, I mean, he, he gives definitions of use place. values. Uh, you want that? What's that? He gives a, he gives a definition of a use value. You want that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, admittedly, he does for use value. He also but, gives but, a definition fair, of to capital. Fair, to be fair, in capital, though, Marx does say, let's define use value in this way, and then let's deal with exchange. Value. Yeah, I... I I totally agree that it's his own definitions, and he he completely made the term use value up. That's his own term. That's that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why he had to define it because he made the term up. So he wanted to just make it clear to the audience what he's trying to talk about. Okay, but Marx does not deal in fucking uh, definitions like how you're saying. Like let's define value in the following way. The concept of value Marx is taking from the schools of political economy. He's implicitly acknowledge, acknowledging that value is something uh, we all understand uh, implicitly, and he develops what value is, not by giving a sentence, but throughout his entire project, throughout capital as a project, is, where, is how he's defining value. At no point does Marx actually say, this is exactly what value is. And I challenge you to find me where he, where he says, where he does do that. Yeah, I can actually.
Okay, please, please, please. Okay. Where Mark says, this is exactly what value is as a definition. I'd love to. Please, please. I'm curious, Ethan. Yeah. Please. Well, right here, he says, let me find it. Can you please put it on screen? Oh, no, I have a physical copy of Capital. I mean, I can go control okay, F okay, for right. it. Okay, let me pull it up on screen then. Where is it? Please, can you not put it up? On uh, screen? okay, get the pen. Yeah, I'll put it up on screen. Okay, let's do that. All right. Oh, I fucking bite my fingernails too much. Um, Penguin Classics, Capital Volume One. Can't see what I'm typing. Okay, we need a it's PDF. On it's on no, 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 because I need the PDF of the exact version I have because it has the same page number. Um. As my bookmark. Tell me the phrase, and I'll keyword it, and and Mox is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It might be different because of translations, but. And it's capital volume one. Yes, capital volume one. Okay, let's go. And pull it up on screen, please. So give me the phrase while while you're waiting for it to. Okay. Um. Which, which part? Suppose which... two equal quantities of oh, social. Which part? Which part? Oh, sorry. Um, this is uh commodities and money or. Money. This is money in the circulation of commodities, which I think is like part two. Okay, money in the circulation of commodities. I'm right there. Okay. Give me the phrase. Uh, suppose two equal quantities. Suppose two equal. Okay, and uh, which exact phrase, in your view, is where Marx says this is value? This is what value is. If the uh, let me find it. The magnitude of a value of a commodity, therefore, expresses a necessary relation to the social necessary time, which is inherent in the process of by which value is created. Is that, is that it? <laughs> yeah, the magnitude of the value of a commodity. What so is how value, much? Though? But we, I just, we're, he's talking about the magnitude. Okay, of I, the can defi okay, okay I can define. Okay, okay, I can define value for you. What I can, is that value? I can define value for you. No, no, I don't want. But you it's to. going. I want Marx no, no, no. I, I can show you. Marx. I can show you how Marx defined value. No, no, no. But Show it's gonna... me where he does it. Okay. Where he does it. It's in mo yeah. I'm going to have to give you multiple places, though. Is that okay? Because okay, he okay, does it. Okay. This is, okay, okay. Leftism today. I hope the chat has learned an important lesson right now. What's up? You have to give me multiple places. Okay. First of all, the commodity 129 page. Why couldn't Mark spell it out as simple as you can? Why did Mark because, okay, this is how, because this is how he wrote capital. He wrote capital with starting off with the commodity all the but way to the division of labor and manufacture. That's what I said. I said Marx does not give expression to his ideas in the way you do. And now you're agreeing. I understand. With okay, I understand what you're saying. So let me. I want to understand your point because I am an honest person. What you're saying is that Marx does not define stuff in a single sentence. That's what you're saying. Yes, he, I agree with that. I agree with that. He defines stuff in a single sentence. He doesn't. Def, he doesn't premise his use of words by scholastic definitions whatsoever. For Marx, a definition is something that must be developed dialectically. Well. Oh. Uh, I mean, now that I think about it, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can okay, like, so you I can. Agree with me now. So yeah. Can, so is it fair to say that I don't know anything about what I'm talking about, and I completely don't understand Marxism at all? Well, no, it's not fair. 